This is a So What guitar lesson, how to play So What by Miles Davis on the guitar. I'm going to teach you exactly what frets to play to play this classic melody. I will also show you the famous chord hits that happen in between the melody phrases. I'll also teach you some of the theory that's going on, which will help you remember the melody better. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to play this iconic tune, So What, on the guitar. I'm Jared Borkowski from SoundGuitarLessons.com, where I have courses that teach musicianship skills and help guitar express themselves more freely and confidently through improvisation, fretboard theory, mastery, uh, arranging, and much more. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe and follow. I have new lesson videos every week. Let's dive into the lesson. Okay, here's what we're gonna cover in this lesson. We're gonna learn the scale shape that the melody comes from. We're gonna play it up and down in two places to cover everywhere that the melody happens on the guitar. This is great to do. I'll show you exactly how to practice it. Then we're going to talk about thinking of that scale in a slightly different way. And I'll show you how to practice it to uh, get yourself grounded um, in the tonality that the actual song So What is in. This is gonna help a lot for learning the melody, which is what we'll do next. I'll show you fret by fret how to play the melody. Then I will teach you the chord structure and how to play the chord hits that are kind of famously in between the melody. And then we'll piece it all together and play the whole thing and you'll be on your way. And at the end, I have a bonus tip on an easy way to start improvising with it. The next thing you'll wanna do after playing this is probably improvise after you play the whole melody. Uh, so a scale that you maybe already know most likely is something that we can use to improvise over it pretty tastefully. And I'll show you that as a bonus tip at the end. If you want a resource to follow along, we're gonna be doing some scale shapes here. I have a free scale resource that has all the physical scale forms, the diagrams um, on a PDF of all the scales, but exactly where we're playing this scale here is in there. So if you want the physical shapes of that, you can get it with the link in the top of the description or go to soundguitarlessons.com slash scales. So step one here is to play the scale that the melody is in. This is gonna help a lot just to be able to play this up and down. This exact scale shape that I just played is in that PDF that I just talked about in this exact location too. This note right here, the pinky's playing on the low string is C. So we're playing the C major scale. We're just playing from the lowest note to the highest note of this physical scale form. I want you to be able to play that up and down. I want you to do it up and down also a half step up from there because this tune moves up a half step and then back down. So just drill that up and down and that's step one. The next thing I want to show you is how to think of the scale in the tonality of the actual tune. This scale is C major, this is the root, but the tune, so what, is in a mode called Dorian. Now don't worry about any of this vocabulary because I'll just show you what to practice to get it down. But what this means is that all the notes are the same that we just played, but this note here, which is the note D, and it's the second note of the C major scale, one, two, one, two, second note up from C, That's that means that if we call this the root and think of it as the main note, then it is the second mode of the major scale. And it's a mode that's called the Dorian mode. And that is famously what was innovative about this song and this style of jazz that we're playing what's called modal jazz, where we're in the D Dorian mode. We're not even necessarily on a chord type. We're just in the mode. So we're in the C major scale, but this note is the root. In other words, Dorian mode. Okay, so what I want you to do is practice the exact same notes, but play it from D to this D and back down. And repeat the Ds each time. Do, 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 do. Now you're getting the sound of actual Dorian mode of the actual tonality of the tune So What in your ears. Now let's take it a step further and do what I call the root to root method, which is we're gonna play the whole physical scale form like we did before, but we're gonna repeat the D note every time we get to it. And we're not gonna repeat any other note, okay? So you're gonna start on D, go up, you get to D, you can pause if you want or not, and you repeat it and go all the way up and turn back around and land on D again. Anywhere that the D, that note, just those two places, anywhere that it comes up, you play it twice. Okay, so we're playing all the notes now so we know the whole physical shape.
this is just great. This is the theory stuff that will help you learn and remember the melody so much longer. But just even if you don't remember any of the vocabulary terms and you practice just that, excellent for your playing in your ears if you want to play this tune. Let's make sure we do it a half step up as well. And then the full thing. I'll do it one more time. Nice and slow is fine. Okay, that's the root to root off of the set. So now we're treating it as the second mode. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, here is the melody. We're gonna start on this note. And we're gonna go up to this note. It's like a power chord thing. This would be called one and this would be called five uh, off of D. Now I want you to memorize this note, this note, and then this note, and then this one. And then think of these notes as kind of your center, as your hub of the sound. You have this, 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 this. Okay, fifth fret, seventh fret, seventh fret, fifth fret. You can find those easily, right? That's your hub. Now around that is the melody. We're gonna go, after jumping up to this fifth, you're just gonna play the scale we practiced. And that, and then you can hear the tune in it now. Okay. One, five of D, and then up the scale. And then go back down to this note, which happens to be the flat seven of D, and then land here. Okay. Five fret, five, seven, four, five, seven, five, five, seven. again that's the most that's most of what we need to learn here okay now that phrase happens over and over again for this tune the first time that happens the next time it's this jump down to that note third time it's the same as the first and the fourth phrase is just this okay Five, 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 seven, seven frets. Okay. And all of those notes are just inside the scale form that we worked on. So you can think of them. If you want to think of numbers of the scale, which I often do, I would call D1 and go one, two, three. I won't say flat or sharp right now. I'll just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Okay. That can help sometimes if you're into that kind of thing. One, five, six, seven, one, two, seven, one. Whatever way works for you is totally fine. Now the whole melody goes up a half step uh, the third time it's played. So we just went through the whole melody once, it's gonna happen twice, and then you go up a half step and play it, and then you play it again down. Okay, so up a half step, work on it there too, otherwise it'll feel weird. Okay, so. I'm gonna play the whole thing really fast so you kind of get a sense of where it moves. You play the, that whole thing twice on D, once off E flat, and then again on D. That's one time on D. Okay, then E flat. to D. Okay, so that's the whole melody. Take your time with it. Uh, think of the structure if that's helpful for you. And let's move on to the chord hits that happen in between the melody phrases. And we'll be able to play both of them. It'll sound really cool. So the chords that happen in between the melody are these. Kind of that famous chord sound. So... And the structure of these chords is, I'm on the seventh fret, go seventh fret, seventh fret, seventh fret, eighth fret, seventh fret. So you have to bar for that. This is called a quartal chord. I have a video all about quartal chords. I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to know more about the theory of them. And I have a video on comping over so what, so you can play the chords while someone else solos. I'll put a link to that video in the description as well. But right now we're just playing the tune with the chords in it. So you want to place these chords off the seventh fret, off the fifth fret, in between every melody phrase. Etc. And of course, when it goes up a half step, they move up a half step as well. So once you work on that, 
then you're ready to piece it all together. And let's give that a go. So I'll demonstrate the full thing. It's important to note here that this melody at the beginning is a pickup line. That means that it's a series of notes that are before the tune actually starts. So it's one, two, three, four, land, the beginning of the tune right there. So when we're counting it off, like in the, I'm gonna use a backing track to demonstrate for you, but this sounds great on its own. You can do it without a backing track. I'll have to make sure I start before the actual backing track starts. So I'll start while the click is still happening. This is very cool because when the key change happens, we're actually starting the melody in the new key before the rest of the harmony has changed keys. And it's kind of this anticipation sound. It's very cool. So let's just demonstrate the whole thing for you. And then you can piece it together for yourself and give it a go. Bonus tip coming in one second, but first, if you want to get the scale diagrams that we used, uh, that this melody is from, that I talked about earlier, you can get that for free with the link in the top of the description, or you can go to soundguitarlessons.com slash scales. You'll get my printable parent scales PDF. It's all seven parent scales, which means the scales that all the modes come from. So it's really every physical diagram and shape that you need to learn all your scales all over the fretboard. And the C major scale that the D Dorian scale is born from is in there exactly the shapes that we played here and many, many more. So grab that if you want to. Now for your bonus tip, what you'll want to do next after you learn the melody and can play through it with the chord hits and everything is probably improvise something. And yes, we can improvise with this over Dorian, which is what my video next week is going to be about, how to uh, go about improvising over this with the Dorian scale. But if you already know your pentatonic scale, uh, D minor pentatonic, and then of course you'd have to go up to E flat minor pentatonic, you can play really tasty uh, improvisations, nice and minimal improvisations with that pentatonic scale. And it's going to sound great over this tune. So you can get into that right away without having to worry about, oh, I'm not fluent at seeing or feeling or hearing the D Dorian shape yet or thinking of it, which again, I'll talk about in my video next week. So let's say you finish the melody and then you're going into improvising. You can just be nice and simple with it. going to the E flat. So obviously you have to change the keys when that happen. Something to fall back on, we use the minor pentaton pentatonic scale so often, so maybe you're already playing that. Just try not to sound like maybe the licks that you always play or just like a blues lick on this and instead just be really minimal and tasteful with the phrasing, give it a lot of space. And that's something you can fall back on while you work on improvising with the Dorian mode or you know thinking of it in other ways. Stay tuned for my video next week on how to improvise over this very effectively with the Dorian mode and uh, with some other approaches as well. I post a new lesson video every single week. Hope to see you in that one. Take care, thanks for watching and happy practicing. Thank <laughs> you.